Hi! I'm looking a little rough, but that's okay. We're about to fix that. I live in LA now, and I also just got a new iPhone. I want to test out how good the camera really is, so I want to shoot a vlog today and see how I feel about it once I edit everything. I'm currently shooting in 4K, and I don't even know how the front camera can be 4K, but it is. Figured that I would take you along with me today. As I venture off into the city of LA, I'm meeting my friend Claire. She's my online friend, and I'm gonna meet her IRL, and we're going to be shooting content for her release and my release. I just dropped a song today called Lunch Money. I'm so happy that it's out in the world because I love it a lot. And I need to get some footage of myself. Oh, my hater just kicked on. No, it's gonna be so loud. Shh. We're in my bathroom now and this lighting is horrendous, <gasps> but that's okay because you're gonna see me in good lighting too, so. I was gonna shoot this vlog all in 4K, but that's just for sure gonna take up all of my storage and I need that today because we're going to shoot footage. So maybe let's just shoot in HD. I don't know if you've been following me or if you know anything about me, but I have come from a pretty interesting situation. A year ago today, I was engaged and I owned a house in Atlanta. And today I am single and renting an apartment in Los Angeles. I never thought I'd be able to live in LA. I never thought I'd be able to actually have the balls to get myself out here and I definitely never thought I'd be living alone in LA but I am it's pretty cool I definitely feel like I am like living out my 14 year old self's dream I feel like my younger self always really wanted to pursue music and be a pop star and I remember when I was like kind of going down the path where I was kind of giving up on music and not for any reason like nobody was preventing me from doing so I just I think I got a little too comfortable in my life and because of that I kind of felt like the 14 year old inside of me was like screaming like girl you are flopping you are fumbling and you're not being yourself like this is not the path that we wanted so I was like yeah you're so right so I decided that I wanted to move to LA to pursue music because that was like the only thing that was gonna make me feel fulfilled in life and when I told my parents they were like you're absolutely insane you've lost your mind I don't know who you are you're not my child but low-key I for sure am like this is literally who I've always been been, no question and the second that I moved here I just felt a wave of relief wash over me like I immediately felt so at home I kind of felt like I would feel really out of place at least in the beginning I was so convinced that the first year was gonna be absolute hell and obviously I haven't been here for a year but I've been here for two weeks and I love it I've been so much more social than I have in the past four years um, I've been doing way more I've been interacting with more people I'm like creating more core memories which just something that I was not doing before and I think it's because I was just feeling kind of depressed I wasn't really pushing myself outside of my comfort zone it wasn't necessarily the city that I was living in but I just wasn't like feeling very fulfilled so I wasn't inspired to go do all those things the second that I moved here I immediately felt at home I love being surrounded by other creatives who do exactly what I do there's always someone to create with there's always someone to collab with like either your friends will need help with their projects or your friends can help you with your projects and it's beautiful. It's like really inspiring and really comforting. It's where I was supposed to be this whole time and I like finally feel like full and complete. I literally like cried the first morning that I was here like by myself. I feel so like healed. So yeah, hopefully that doesn't go away. Okay, we are testing out this gimbal that I got for the iPhone. Hey queen, hey scoops. Yes, stability. Am I mentally stable? No, but is my iPhone stable? It sure is, she's a vlogger. But today we are going to shoot visuals for my, this one lunch money that came out today. So this is my first time using the stabilizer. I bought it like three years ago, but I'm excited to use her. This is gonna be a sleigh for sure. I'm excited. All right, let's go to Claire's. I want you to go down, Gimbal. Oh my God, sleigh, bye girls. Love you. All right, I'm here with Claire. Hello. Oh God, oh God, <laughs> the stabilizer. I don't know how to, how to slay her yet. We found the most perfect bleachers to film content on and then we got yelled at. It's a closed baseball practice, but now we are walking around. Where did he even direct us to? Um, on Oakwood. Oh, like a whole nother street. Yeah. Where, how does he even know what we were looking for? I think we're okay. Yep. Yeah. Oh God, I don't know how to work this. Okay, wait, that's cool. Okay, cute. cute. Slay, yes, vlogger. <laughs> Come here. Oh, I missed you. Oh my goodness, she's crazy. She's the craziest girl in the world. She's the craziest girl in the world. She's my greatest friend. I miss you. Ah. Uh, 
I genuinely don't know how I would survive. <laughs> I don't know how I would survive living in LA without my dogs. They're literally my family, my social life, my everything. Hi, I missed you. You're a crazy girl right now. Come here. Come here, queen. Oh, hello. Oh my goodness. Come here, Scout. Scoobies, come. Oh my goodness. I don't know how, but I messed up my ankle. I never match my socks, by the way. But yeah, my ankle really hurts. And I don't know if it's from like- Sitting on it on the bleachers or what, but- All right, we're gonna do a dark kitchen scene because I just had the big light on in my kitchen. And the overhead lighting is just not, not cute. So I'm about to heat up some Thai food for dinner. I'm so excited. I got like red curry. I just had so much fun with my friend Claire. We helped each other shoot content. She mainly helped me shoot my videos for the Lunch Money Visualizer. It's not gonna be the official music video because we're gonna be shooting the official music video the first weekend of March. But I wanted to have like some sort of like video visualizer because I have footage from a live performance of me playing that song. And then I wanted like footage of me in the cheerleading outfit. So that's what we did. She lives right by a high school so it was like very serendipitous and we just walked over to this like super rich LA high school holy cannoli it made my high school look like a shoebox we tried to get in through one gate and we found some little bleachers to work with and then there was like active baseball practice and the coach like yelled at us and escorted us out but then we walked around and we found way better Jimungo bleachers and it was so awkward because there were literal high schoolers playing soccer and like doing track and field so like actual high schoolers there and it was so ironic because the song is called Lunch Money. Lunch Money is about liking someone but not wanting to like them because you like have commitment issues. So you're like, please bully me. Like stop being so sweet. Please like take my lunch much money, put lunch money, push me in the lockers and like make me hate you because I don't want to like you. So it's just ironic that that's what the song is about because I literally was so scared of all of the high schoolers watching us film this video. Scouts drinking water. I was so scared to be bullied by these high schoolers and I think that I was bullied because why is this woman rolling up in like a pink cheerleading uniform? That's so embarrassing. But I just like completely ignored the fact that they were there and I did my thing and I got my footage and like for the most part the bleachers were empty and so that's why it like felt normal up there. Like we felt really far away from people. I couldn't see anyone's faces judging me. But then all of a sudden, like the kids from track and field, and like I just hear thunder and it's like all these kids starting to run stadiums like up the stairs, like right next to us. So immediately I was like, we gotta go, like we're done, gotta go. Overall, it was a very productive content day. As you saw me, <laughs> experimenting with it while my phone was on it. I've had this like iPhone gimbal stabilizer for years now and I never used it. And it's honestly probably because the iPhone camera wasn't that great. So I was like, mm, what am I gonna be filming on my iPhone? And I wasn't making TikToks yet. But now that I'm like obviously making TikToks cause the world is, this is so useful. I'll link it below. Cause I'm really glad that I have it. It's so slick. I always thought that filming vlogs on an iPhone was so lazy. I just got the iPhone 14 Pro and the camera is way better than any other iPhone that I personally had. So I feel like if I can vlog on my iPhone, I'm so much more likely to actually do that because lugging a camera around everywhere, especially my camera, the camera and lens that I use together, like I like to use this wide angle lens. It's just like a really heavy thing to lug around. But if I can just like use my phone to vlog everywhere, I can be a vlogger. I've gotten Thai takeout from two different restaurants in LA and both was like the best Pad Thai I've ever had. I forgot that that's like a huge benefit to living in a big city is like every restaurant is gonna be delicious. I lived in Toronto and I lived in Atlanta and like every restaurant was pretty much delicious. Specifically Toronto, I went out the most there and then I moved back to my hometown in Gainesville, Florida and I was like, ooh, restaurants are kind of a hit or miss. But in big cities, restaurants are always slay because they have so much competition. It's always like the best of the best. So yeah. I am so excited for this because I've literally only eaten a banana and a kind bar and a Celsius today. So now I'm about to go so ham on this Thai food. Oh, you can't even see it. I'm about to go so ham on this Thai food. I don't like talking while I'm eating, so. Bye. Oh, yes. 
red curry rice and then this is just some like pita bread this looks so gross this is just like pita bread that i didn't finish from trader joe's when i have my life together like you see how messy my apartment is when it is clean and organized i'll give you an apartment tour because it's low-key such a sleigh so freaking cute but it's not exactly where it needs to be yet huh so I have been editing this video pretty much all night since I've left you, maybe for like a few hours now. And I'm very impressed with the iPhone 14 Pro camera shooting in 4K mixed with my stabilizer. This footage is not bad. It was just supposed to be a visualizer and I really want to film like a real music video with like a plot and a storyline and some thought into it and not just me being hot in a cheerleading costume. But this can pass like as a music video, as like a cute like simple music video but I've been having a lot of fun editing it because I've never edited, that's a lie, I have edited one of my own music videos before and it was the Popsicle Brain music video but I wasn't really excited about that footage and I'm excited about this footage. It highlights the song really well. Loki like looks just as good as my canon which is crazy. Love the future. On another note I think it's so interesting how like, in the 90s everyone pictured the future being people wearing metallic clothing and like robots running around and that's literally what's happening. Like there's these little delivery robots in LA that you just see all over like Melrose. I don't know how they get around. I don't know how they work, but we all just act like it's no big deal. We just walk around them. We have robot vacuums. We have robots everywhere. And then I definitely wear my fair share of metallic clothing, like silver metallic futuristic xenon clothing. That's literally my pop star wardrobe. So we are in the future. It's just really interesting that like the 90s totally predicted correctly. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna keep editing. It is now hour five of editing this video. I love it though, because I haven't been excited about editing a video in a while. I am very impressed by this iPhone camera. I think this video looks great. I just did a bunch of color grading. I'm trying to decide if I want to add lyrics or not and make it a lyric video instead of like just a visualizer, because I'm definitely gonna do a music video too. But this looks like a music video, so I don't want it to look like I uploaded two music videos. So I think I have to put lyrics on it to make it a lyric video. Well, thank you so much. I'm drinking this protein drink, protein smoothie. Oh, oh, oh my god, that was almost tragic because it's like half open. Vanilla almond spiced chai protein smoothie with chai tea almond. Oh, it probably has caffeine in it. Oh, that's not a good idea. But I just didn't get enough protein today. And I'm like dehydrated and I don't have any water in my Brita. So I was like, protein shake it is. She is the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Well, two of the most beautiful girls I've ever seen. That monstrosity is me not being moved in yet. I have all of these clothes that I need to find spots for. I need to put them away. Girlfriend has way too many clothes, but I have like five personalities, so I need a wardrobe for each one, you know? Okay, I just finished the video and I did not have to go that hard. Uh, she is so freaking cute. Um, Hi, queen. She's like, why are you yelling? Color graded her. And she's very manic on brand. Lots of jump cuts, very chaotic, but it fits the song and I love it so much. It's the cutest lyric video. It could pass as a music video, but I love the song so much. I want to give this song like a really good music video. I'm proud of myself. I was not planning on just whipping something up today. I wasn't sure what was going to happen, but I love this video. I'm so excited to release it tomorrow. I feel like it just like brings the song to life, communicates the vision that I had behind the song. I'm excited. I love when I'm able to do things on my own because I just feel way more capable and like yeah I don't want to have my music videos always be shot on my phone because that looks like not as professional and it could be way better but now I know that when I'm in a pinch and I just need some visual I can like recruit one of my poor friends to follow me around with my phone and my stabilizer and then I can like whip something up. Is it 2am right now? Yes. Do I want to just edit the vlog that I made today? This vlog right now? Yes. But I should probably take a melatonin in and go the f to bed <laughs> this is a good sign though this is showing me that los angeles is still inspiring me i'm about to be like a full-on youtuber the fact that i can vlog with my phone i mean obviously the front camera isn't the best but like i think i'm just gonna start vlogging with my phone so i'll probably be posting more because i'm feeling good and i actually have interesting things to do with my life now so i'm really happy and excited and i feel very at home in la and i feel very whole and healed and like myself and it's a really beautiful feeling because i was really afraid that like the grass is always greener on the other side and i was thinking that la was like the missing piece to make me happy but then i was like what if i spend all my money and move all my stuff across the country and get all the way there and i'm not happy but it's been like almost two weeks now and i'm still happy obviously that's not 
enough to know if I like it here, but like I just feel so at peace and at home and it's such a cool feeling. So I guess my lesson of last year is to just trust your gut no matter who around you tells you what's actually best for you because the only person who knows is you. And on that note, I'm gonna end this vlog because it is two in the morning and Eastern time, that's five in the morning. I wonder if my mom will be awake in an hour. Maybe I'll text her. Say goodnight, Scoobies. All of my links are in the description box below, including the link to this lyric video. So definitely go check it out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye!